The Active PIM Solutions provides access to your project data. Here we have Sodexo's Grange Gorman East Quad project, which allows the information model to be viewed using different techniques according to your requirements. Floor plans offer one method for viewing the spatial model, and by hovering over or selecting specific spaces, data regarding these can be shown in the sidebar. The asset team can move through the various floors to view the spaces they require and to access the space information they need. Floors can be chosen by name to browse each plan. Hover or click to view or select the spaces you are interested in. The sidebar then shows the space information, including photographs or other documentation which exists, as well as area and other identified property data. Spaces can be also filtered by choosing an associated zone such as the circulation. As you step through each floor level only those spaces identified as part of the circulation zone will be highlighted. An alternate method of viewing the data is via the 3D model where there is access to a 3D viewer, but we will return to this later. Key to the project data model are the asset types, which are linked to specific manufacturers. In this case, we will search for Grand Foss and choose a product such as this pump to view the information is available. Upon selecting a specific pump, we can verify the information available to see if this meets our information requirements. This example is showing 95% complete and we can select the validation summary and see that, in this case, only the code performance is missing. The model shows that the types are identified per category and in this case are based upon the Uniclass products table. Now we have some idea of the type and category information available to us, we can go back to the model viewer and have a look inside the 3D model. The 3D Forge viewer has a number of methods to navigate and include methods to pan, zoom, walk, fly, and 3D orbit. Mouse or keyboard shortcuts can be used to aid with navigation and settings chosen to implement specific speed and refresh options. One of the benefits is the ability to select specific objects and view their properties. We will look at this in detail later on. As it is easy to lose your location, it is important to save pre-defined views. In this case the views names are called after the spaces names. Select a pre-defined view and then we can adjust the view to identify the specific assets we are interested in. By selecting the saved views we can move around the model. But always have a reference point if we get lost or lose our place within the model. Select the assets and the type information will be shown to us. Photographs of the product can also be added to ensure the correct assets are being reviewed. Having found an asset we can then use the tabs in the properties dialog box for finding information about the individual component, the asset type, or the space in which it resides. Using the walk option we can move through the model, viewing the objects we are interested in, prior to selecting them, to find the relevant information and location data. Notice that objects appear depending on their size and depth of view, which is one of the options that can also be changed within the settings. We can continue selecting assets we are interested in, viewing their properties, the asset type, as well as a product image. A similar exercise can be carried out on other products to investigate their information. The keyboard shortcuts for walking around the model can be used to follow physical routes taken through the building, and further product data can be reviewed. Another method of interacting with spatial data is by accessing the 3D photographs associated with a specific space. There are multiple methods of getting to the space information either through the floor plans and spaces, 3D models and spaces, 
or as in this case, by searching through specific instances and finding its location. Where products have been tagged within a 3D photograph, a yellow tag will be highlighted, which allows the selecting of the tag to provide the associated data. This provides the links to the product data in the sidebar and you can then browse the various product links to find the information required. This demonstrates the various methods Sodexo used to get to asset data using the Active Plan PIM solution. Spatial methods include via floors, individual spaces, interacting with the 3D model, or via 3D photographs. All options are accessing the same data model and other methods of filtering information based upon category or asset type are available. We hope you enjoyed this overview of Sodexo's Active Plan PIM solution.